Hey there, welcome back guys. Today we're going to go over some issues some of you might be having on Logic Pro on the Macintosh computer, Mac running the latest Mac OS Sonoma. Um, if, if you're like me and you ran the update, uh, you might be experiencing issues with your audio where you can't I can't actually hear it and it sounds like that and then after you export it thinking because you see the wave um, it's still where's the audio there's nothing there and so in this video we're gonna solve that um, so without any further ado let's get started okay so what you want to do is you basically want to open up your logic pro um, and if you don't have Logic Pro open, or if you were using it, I would actually recommend rebooting your machine so you can have the fullest experience without any other, other, without any errors. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so on that note, so once you have Logic Pro opened, right? So what you're gonna do is you are going to uh, you have your track and your timeline you've got your mic connected and we're just gonna do a little test that a lot of you guys are familiar with when you have your mic connected and this test goes a little something like this popular universal no matter what language it's done in, it's always the same you press record huh? oh, hold on. make sure there are no errors of course and then you press record try that again uh, let's see and you say something like this is a test to see if the microphone works but of course you can't see what I'm doing right so on that note let's uh, get rid of the camera this is a test to see if the microphone works testing one two three and of course it's recording you can't really see it so what you want to do is um, zoom in a little bit right or zoom out whichever works best zooming in doesn't do justice so what you do is you zoom out and then you just bring it in Right about there. And now you say, if you if you get closer to the mic, you can see the wave. This is a test to see if the microphone works. See that the wave gets bigger. That's good if you're doing voiceovers, but if you, um, as you know, that the Tascam Pro um, works really well from a distance, and you can just be far away. Um, after the update, before the update, you would be here, and the wave would be like that. And then after the update, um, you know, it still records really well, but the wave is just a little bit lower. And the only way to see the wave in its original format to know how high the audio is to see if it's clipping is to just press pause. See that? So don't be intimidated by that. You're like, oh no, it's so small. Because um, back in the day, when it was small, you knew the mic wasn't connected, and it was actually recording from the um, the the, uh, the the desktop mic or your computer mic or whatever mini mic that was laying around. So that issue has been solved, which is great. Um, but it's a little intimidating because you have to do a. This is a test to see if the microphone works to actually um, see if it's working. All right, so. We're going to move forward. So I just did a little test thing and you're like, yeah, this is great. Now I'm going to test it and see. And after the update, this is what happens. Where's my audio? Nothing. So this is a simple fix for this. There are a couple things you have to do. All right. So first you're going to go into uh, right here on the top uh, left hand corner, right? You're going to click on the mixer, see mixer, mixer X and you press it and this menu pops up down below and then what you're going to do is you're going to press um, the uh, see where it says output right there no output so we're going to select output and I'm going to select stereo see that look at that now I've got my stereo out which is great and now if I press play I should hear my audio nope no audio one more thing you got to do so for some reason after the update this is what happened to me uh, see where it's M right there? Uh, let me just stop it. Press spacebar to stop. Now, if I deselect it, right? Now, um, it will, it should, play. And I should hear my audio. See? And there it goes. There is your audio. Uh, you can always turn it up, right? In my case, my... Um, my um, microphone is actually in, in here, so I'd have to turn it up from here on the screen. I'm not sure if you can see what's on the screen because the screen has a, its own little menu. I'm just going to turn it up to uh, 73. Let's see what 73 does. Two, three, and of course it's recording. 
can't really see it. So see? So it is. That's coming out. But for you guys, it'll probably be louder. Um, so I'm just going to lower it because I don't really monitor it from here. Um, once I see that everything's there, I just kind of don't do it that way. You know, everyone has their own preference and what works for them. So that's that. But if let's say you did all that. You're like, wait, I don't know what he's talking about. It's not working. That's okay. There are a couple other things you may have to do. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go into... Um, your your logic pro and you're going to go into settings mm -hmm. and you're going to go into audio see that and then from audio you want to make sure your output device is selected like so you saw here i selected this monitor as my output now if i change that right the audio will actually come from the computer and then i have access to the volume controls from this machine so if i let's say i'll change it i will change it to macbook air speakers okay it's going to get a little loud, and you'll hear it coming a little bit choppy because the MacBook Air speakers aren't the best. And then it'll push, you know, you'll hear it coming from that mic. So I'm going to click Apply. Okay, so now on this computer, I should be able to, yep, um, should, but it doesn't look like it. Output device, MacBook Air speakers, I will quit. But it should come out from here. So what you want to do is... And there you go. Zoom in a little bit. See that? Or zoom out, which So it came out from here. So that could be the other issue. I'm just going to put it back on the task cam because me personally, I don't like when it's here unless I have my um, my laptop, um, uh, you know, on my lap. Um, so I'm going to put this back onto the Asus, okay, because that's what I like. Um, and then I'm just going to click apply. And then I'm going to close this. And I should hear it. I can't hear it because um, I remember I just set it to like 10. Now you say, if you're, if you're getting closer to the and now it's coming from there. This is a test to see if the microphone works. I'm going to stop this. Press space bar. Um, so you want to make sure you have the output setting set within the application. Now let's say you did that and it's still not working. Well, there's still one more thing you have to do. It's not like before where you just set it once, set it and forget it. Now Mac is making it more and more and harder. Um, so now what you want to do is I have to, oh wow, it's a good thing I didn't do a live stream because Wi-Fi is down. Let's see. Yep, no available network. So I'll probably have to go upstairs and reset it. All right. So on that note, now I'm going to go into my, um, I will open it up for you so that you guys can see. Uh, I'm going to go into my, my Macintosh uh, hard drive, okay, and I will open it up, but I'll do that for you. See right here, my we can see right now, I'm going to move it over. Um, so I'm going to go into Macintosh HD, Applications, and from your applications, you're going to go scroll down to the bottom, see where it says Utilities, Utilities, and then from Utilities, you will go to Audio MIDI Setup, press it, or you can put it in your dock, wherever you want. Most likely put it in the dock, which if you're wondering, where's the dock? I'm going to close it, and I'll show you. The dock is basically right there. Some of you who know may have dropped it there already, but there it is. You put it in your dock, then you press it, open it. Now you select the audio device that you want for your input and output. So for me, I'm doing the Pro Capture Task Cam, and then my output is there. My input is going to be there, but as you can see by default, um, it's eight channels. I don't need eight channels. I want two. So you have the two channels selected. Okay. And then that's it for there. Uh, you know, it's, it's 44. See, and you can change it from uh, to 48. But everything I'm doing is 44. So make sure it's 44 here, 44 there, 44 everywhere. And if you want to know how to make it 44 on your Logic Pro, because it has to match, if it doesn't, it's going to be screwy if you're doing a voiceover screen capture. So on that note, so you would do is you go to your Logic Pro, right? And then inside of Logic Pro, you're going to go down to settings. Uh, I believe it's audio. Okay, and then you see right there, you would think it's in the other settings, but each one has different settings. As you can see, I have it set to 44 and the bit ratio is the same. So you want to make sure that's set. And that's great. Now it should work, right? But there's more. Uh, there's one more thing. So now you did all that and it may be working, it may not be working. This is the last thing you have to do. 
um, to finally get things working if you know this doesn't work and if this doesn't work you have to call Apple support um, but hopefully not hopefully this video will guide you through the process so there's continuity in all your uh, your settings so that it's streamlined so no matter what it works but when you plug out your machine you may lose the settings and have to do this all over again that's why I keep the um, the MIDI uh, interface controller on the um, even though I don't have anything MIDI uh, uh, on the dock because I have to do this a lot. So what you're go you're going to your system settings, or in your if you're running an earlier OS, it's system preferences, and um, click sound. And as you can see, I have the output set to there. So if nothing is uniform, see, so you have to do it everywhere. And then the input, uh, of course, um, shouldn't be. Well, I can tell you in a second. The input is still the mic, and I can tell by, by tapping it. Um, I'll tell you. Watch. Yeah, it's still the mic. Testing. Yeah, it's still the mic, but um, and I can tell it's the mic because it's being run through the other setup. But if you're not sure, right, what you'll do is you'll go to input type and you'll just select task cam, and there's no apply button. But um, let's see, um, audio does look a little bit different um, because when it was on MacBook Air built in, see that? Oh, but at, on um, but as you look and see on uh, uh, Logic Pro, it's still there. so you know not everything is as is, as if it, what it seems. As long as the um, application you're recording from sees it and response to it you're golden okay so on that note but I'm still gonna um, leave as the input as there but remember I'm gonna have to change it anyway if I unplug my computer but as you can see um, it's there and there um, just so you can see if you can't see it right it's there output there input there um, and that you know that could be for other um, issues, but um, I'll know once the audio is finished and done what the recording sounds like, if whether or not I should do this again or not. And which is why sometimes you record using Logic Pro so that if the audio does get screwy um, and it's not pushing, which it is, I can tell you, um, you would have that backup file. All right, so I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, so as you can see, I'll show you here. See, watch, I'll tap the mic. See, so even though it didn't say it before, it's still recording from there. And I can show you if I go back here, if I change the input settings. So if I go to system settings, right, just to make sure, uh, we want to see when I tap that mic because it's so sensitive, it can pick up sounds from far away. Um, that when I have this set to the, when I change the input to MacBook Air, even though you saw like it, it was like that, it's okay because you wanna make sure when you check your settings, you're doing it from um, the application that you're running in. So in my case, it's uh, Prism Live. So if in Prism Live, I tap the mic, see how sensitive it is? It does that, it's okay. But it's possible that this is still recording from there or listening from there because that's right now the input set for the device. Really sensitive. Um, so on that note, but for defaults, you can just leave it there. So there are no complications because as you know, every now and again, I will say, welcome back to everything that glitches. So just to keep continuity and things flowing, um, you just gotta do that, you know, unfortunately. And why? I don't know. And so that's why I keep this running there. And I believe that's it. That is how you get your audio in sync and so you can hear the tracks on Logic Pro. Um, and now for the good stuff. So we made it this far in the video and in our last video we had a little giveaway uh, for the Drone Valley mics. No one's claimed their prize but as you can see we're still having the raffles in the live section and tagging you if you win. If you win you'll be tagged. Uh, if you don't win you're not going to be tagged. So send on, put on your alerts and notifications because those who have won 
are being tagged. We've had two raffles, bingo drawings, and they haven't claimed them. But Afix is still watching, so Afix might win all this, uh, might be the winner to all these winnings. So we're going to have another raffle for another mic, a different mic. This is a totally different raffle. This one's going to be for the Zoom microphone. Okay, there it is right here, the Zoom mic. Excellent mic that was used many years ago uh, for voiceovers. It's a H4N Pro. You'll still find it on, on Sam Ash and other guitar center places. The connection is via USB, but it still works really well. Um, and you know, I'm using the task. I've been using it over, you know, a year now um, or so. And every now and again, I use it on and off. In case, uh, sometimes I use the DJI mics. Um, but this is good if you're in you play the guitar, you're into music, or you like listening to sounds and collecting audio from who knows where, because that's what I used to do back in the day too. I was a sound guy. I used to collect audio sounds and throw them up there and enjoy it. And I still do, except with the Tascam. Um, but now, you know, instead of having it sit there, and I feel like um, someone from the channel might benefit from it, um, and the raffle. And if you win and you don't want it, um, well, most likely you will want it because the first 20 comments will be listed in the entry of the um, bingo drawing, okay? And it'll be live just like the previous ones. And if you win, you'll be tagged and please be on the lookout for it. Um, so I hope this video helped you in better understanding how to set up your audio so you can hear your tracks. I hope that um, you remember you guys can comment. The first 20 will be eligible for the entry on this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.